what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be the recap for chucky season one episode four just let go so episode four starts with the paramedics we're showing being shown the paramedic paramedics coming through and we see jake walking into the local hospital oliver's parents are seen crying because we know oliver recently just died in episode three uh devin is in the hospital as well junior is there too lexi is shown to be alive but caroline is in the hospital from the house fire of course presumably their house burned and chucky's whereabouts at this point in time are unknown lexi and jake talk and he reveals that he's the one who sent chucky there and that the doll is alive and that the doll also is responsible for killing his father lexi asks why chucky wants her and jake reveals it's because he told chucky to but of course we know chucky was going to do this anyway <laughs> it's, he's been wanting to kill lexi ever since he saw how she was acting with jake so after that interaction lexi threatens to tell someone about chucky and jake stops her by revealing what has happened to others who tried which of course would explain even further why jake hasn't bothered to tell anyone uh because he doubts anyone of course would believe him given what he would present to the table and what he's found online by other people who tried to come forward about the doll Devin's mom then reveals to him or to Devin that being that Oliver didn't die in the fire and that someone killed him but she continues to share ideas about Jake potentially being involved in this somehow and how all worlds lead back to him then we get POV shots of Chucky wandering around the hospital and he overhears Lexi argue with her parents who don't believe this wasn't who who don't believe this wasn't her fault as she tries to blame Jake uh, so Devin catches up with Jake in the hospital. He catches up with Jake in the hospital hallway and tells him how Oliver was killed and that it seems that a killer is in their town. Aunt Bree and Uncle Logan are arguing with Lexi's parents about their kids and a fight breaks out over bad parenting where Logan attacks Lexi's dad and we learn Junior Junior sports are on hold over lung damage from the fire because again Junior's in the hospital as well jake and lexi then go searching for chucky back at her house which is now a crime scene junior lies to his dad back at the hospital he's lying to his dad and says that he loves cross country and logan only asks because lexi's dad questioned junior being into sports before their interaction and logan is just it seems like he's trying to relive his glory days honestly through junior so then we are shown devin researching chucky on google and he learns about charles lee ray he decides he decides this after his mother kept asking questions, I'm assuming. He decides to research Chucky on Google after his mother kept asking him questions about the doll and Jake's connection to the doll. He learns that Charles was placed in a home after his parents were killed by that man in the flashback, the Hacksack Slasher. And then a new flashback shows a older Charles, now much older, still a kid, but I'd say like a preteen, maybe teenager here. Uh, he's shown reading to younger children and he's teaching them foul, <laughs> foul language as well. And it's assumed that Charles was never recognized as the killer of his mother. It was, of course, the Hackensack Slasher. Charles spent some years at that boy's home until another accident occurred. What happened was he killed the custodian for his bad treatment towards Charles, and he showed the boys while playing Peter Pan with them. So he says that they found, during the flashback of the older Charles now, he's saying that they found Captain Hook, the dead custodian body, and the kids run, but one of them stays, and Charles said they have guts. Lexi and Jake are searching her house after sneaking in and they're headed to her room since that's the last place she saw Chucky. Lexi gets tired of Jake trying to be nice to her and says he's not nice because this is all his fault and everything happened because of him. This moment honestly is just very funny to me because her mistreatment of Jake should be considered the true beginning of this and Jake goes off on her as well telling her that yes he wanted her to die because she deserved it and she's the one who's a bad person both of them are wrong of course here in this interaction but they're both not recognizing their own faults just trying to blame each other so she gets scared and stumbles off a ledge but Jake catches her before she of course hits the floor beneath and Chucky is below encouraging Jake to just let her go and die he's also sporting a new burnt look that looks half burnt on one side after Jake says no he won't kill her Chucky tries before Jake pulls her up finally and then a cop shows up comes in and finds Chucky now in Barbie mode and takes them back to the hospital since they have no business being in this house since of course it's a crime scene now the cop goes inside of the hospital with the doll and Lexi and Jake try to go inside the hospital with him Lexi gets in but Devin's mom wants to question Jake 
Lexi goes into Caroline's room looking for Chucky, but just watches her little sister instead until she notices Chucky running by by the uh, open door frame. Devin is trying to find Jake to tell him about Chucky. The, the detective, the one working with Devin's mom, goes in, Detective Evans, goes into Caroline's room, her partner, goes into Car Caroline's room with Chucky and starts eating her treats that are sitting by her starts eating her treats that are in her room until chucky kills him so he paralyzed him first by hitting his spinal cord with 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 his attack on the detective and then he kills him with several needles then we go back to the charles flashback because it's continuing and we see the paramedics have arrived for the custodian's body the young boy who charles had told had guts is revealed to be his accomplice from the first film eddie caputo this is a, presumably how they met in a home for orphan boys and then we are shown charles left eddie the knife or left eddie the hand of the custodian before leaving the home for good and i guess they caught up with each other many years later in adulthood Devin tells lexi the history of charles lee ray and she believes him already of course since she's already seen this jake is questioned by Devin's mom and she wants to know about oliver's death since she's convinced he is involved she asks about his dad's abuse to towards jake oliver's bullying and she believes he's just snapped from being abused and bullied jake is about to tell on chucky before he unplugs caroline to distract everyone chucky that being unplugs caroline everyone rushes, rushes into caroline's room and they find the cop's dead body and the episode ends on chucky shooting all three kids the middle finger for good measure and he seems to be on to them trying to expose him and will try to do his best to stop it we can only assume so yeah this episode was my favorite uh, the flashback with Eddie Caputo, very nice touch, nice way to see how it's weaving its way into the established continuity of the original film and showing us how these characters have already had a long history starting off at this orphan orphan place for uh, children that were not wanted by their parents, I'll just say. Uh, so then we get to see how they met and then we're also shown that now all the kids are on board they know chucky's alive and we're i would say we're like in full stranger things mode at this point but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below what did you think about episode four if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video